welcome to this evening's Equity Market Trap. My name is Lisa Pallavi Barbara. The markets uh, did recover some of the losses that they have seen through the week uh, in today's trade. Both the Sensex and the Nifty ended with gains of around 0.7%. Uh, the Sensex ended at 26,100 and the Nifty just short of the 7,800 mark. Uh, the, if you look at uh, the broader markets, mid caps and uh, uh, small cap stocks, which uh, corrected very sharply yesterday, recovered uh, more than the uh, Sensex today. Uh, the benchmark indices today. The, uh, on the broader market front in the sectoral indices, it was uh, the consumer durables and the metals index, which were the biggest gainers, up around 2%. On the other hand, uh, the very few on the declining side, IT was one of those, uh, but a marginal decline of around 0.08%. Coming to the uh, individual stocks, uh, there were some result reactions. Tata Steel uh, reported a 70% decline in net profit. However, markets uh, didn't take it so badly. The stock was up around 1.2%. On the other hand, Hindalco also reported a 31% decline in net profit and that stock fell around 0.8%. But the big news today was Adani Power's acquisition of Lanco Infratech's uh, power plant. Both those stocks reacted positively to the news. Uh, Lanco was up around 5% and Adani Power around 2.9%. Coming to the Sensex names, there was a bit of a shift. The laggards gained today. Uh, Gale was the top gainer up around 3.7%. Uh, also on the gaining front was uh, Sessa Sterlite up around 2.8%. On the other on the other hand, Hero Motor Corp uh, declined some profit booking there down around 2.7% and HDFC Limited was down around 1.4% uh, on profit booking. Uh, that's all from me. Do log on to liveman.com for more details. Thank you.